and we're still solving this question here all right step two we have to find dx all right the determinant of x all right so what's going to happen here is we're going to use this column here where we have this column for constants all right 10 4 and negative 2. this column is going to replace the x column all right when finding dx all right the column for the constants is going to replace the x column okay always remember that all right and you'll see when finding dy this column is going to replace this y column and when finding dz this same column is going to replace the z column all right so i said i'm going to make our matrix here okay this is a three by three matrix okay so we make it this all right so now our x column won't have one for a negative two no we're going to have 10 4 and negative 2 all right as i said the column for the constants all right is going to replace the x column, right then we continue to write our y column all right coefficients of the y variables 2 negative 1 and positive 1 right then the coefficients of the z variables negative 2 1 and 1 so as always the first two columns okay the first two columns come out of the matrix okay we also write them at the exterior of the matrix so we have 10 4 negative 2 right then we're going to have Two, negative one and one. All right. So now we can get the diagonals. Okay. Start multiplying diagonal. Right. So we start with the first diagonal. All right. We're going to say ten times negative one. That's negative ten. Then negative ten times one. That's going to give us negative 10. All right, so I'll just put here negative 10. All right, so it's up to you which ne which diagonal you want to go with next. Let's try if we go with this one next. We say 2 times 1, that is 2. All right, 2 times negative 2. All right, that gives us negative 4 right so here we have negative four all right then we can go to this diagonal here negative two times four that's negative eight negative eight times one gives us negative eight all right we can even total up our values here we can say negative ten plus negative four plus negative eight right so remember positive and negative it becomes negative all right you should always remember rules of integers right it becomes negative again positive and negative it becomes negative all right so we're going to have negative 10 minus 4 minus 8 so negative 10 minus 4 that's negative 14 negative 14 minus 8 that gives us negative 22. All right then we can go to the other diagonals all right we can start with one at the bottom negative 2 times negative 1 that's positive 2 positive 2 times negative 2 we get negative 4 
all right then one times one times ten right one times one that's one one times ten that is ten all right then you say one times four that is four four times two that is eight right and we can add up our okay we can add up our values on top negative a uh, negative four plus ten that gives us six six plus eight that gives us fourteen right so we're going to say dx okay equals always remember the bottom value comes first right so we say negative 22 okay negative 22 minus 14 that will give us negative 36 